This is one of the ways I keep my sanity. Have Coco help me retrieve a ball, bring it back, retrieve a ball, all day long, and then I'd give him a nice burger. Hi, welcome back. Now that you've mastered your putting, we're gonna talk a little bit about the short game. How to improve on short chips, long chip and runs, and medium to high lofted shots. Not necessarily the flop shot, just medium to low running shots, which we would call chip and run. Uh, one of the things that we need to understand is the path of the club that it's uh, traveling when it's striking the ball. In order for you to create maximum spin to the ball, we need to make sure that we strike the ground with the bounce. The leading edge, which is the front part of the club face, if it's leaning forward on the shaft, will tend to dig into turf catching it a little bit more turf and then ball will fly a little bit higher but not necessarily high lofted you'll still have a lot of release the one thing that we need to understand is the more the lean of the shaft back away from the ball you will produce a higher loft and more bounce enters the ground therefore creating a higher spin shot a lot of people ask me oh, I'd love to see myself spin the ball and stop well, if you're short distance away from the pin, it's a little bit extreme, a little bit difficult. And I've seen only a few people do it. Those are tour players that I've seen do it. And they're making an exaggerated big backswing to try to create the most bounce and angle of attack to the ball to be super steep, therefore creating a higher lofted shot. For this particular tip that we're gonna do is we're gonna understand whether you're too far inside or too far outside and making sure that you just kind of keep yourself more in front of you, keeping the club head in front of you rather than pulling it in or coming around on the other side. I have actually put these two little boards here and see these two boards here, they're on the side and I have basically have them in a way that they're kind of leaning against the legs here and this will create a, a feel so that I can kind of see where my club is moving so my club is going back my shoulders are turning my hands are staying in front of me for me when I do really well in chipping I always think about the button of the club to point out my belly button and make sure it stays there pointing some of us do this they kind of let the hands flip and the club face goes up and then you end up blading the ball. Or some of us get too far this way, where we're leaning the shaft too hard into the ground and creating a big dig with the leading edge into the turf and making the ball go super low and then run in or kind of going too far past the pin. What we want to understand is when we're setting up to hitting a shot, what we want to do is we want to get the feeling that the club head on the backswing stays in front of us so that it doesn't get in a position where it's behind us and if we can kind of see a better angle of it we'll see an angle so that you can kind of see how the plane of these two boards are kind of matching each other and they're kind of making us feel and understand that the club head is always in front of us so if I'm addressing this ball and I'm getting ready to hit it on the chip what I want to do is I want to have my weight on my left, my shoulder counterbalancing, so they're kind of leaning back a little bit here. And as I set up to the ball, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we use the shoulders. We turn back. The club is now set. The shaft is parallel to the shaft on the ground and not letting the golf club get too far inside. That's probably one of the biggest things I see with a lot of golfers is they tend to get the golf club too far inside and then they go out that way. And then they end up blading the ball or they kind of scald the ball across the green. But what we want to do is we want the club to go back straight, come down to the strike, keeping weight on the left, extending the club in front of you and making sure the club face stays in front of you and in front of the board here. Now you tell yourself, well, where could I get the boards? Well, you don't need the boards. What you really need is we need the two sticks. So if we have this stick here, right? And you bury it into the ground. And we have the other stick and you bury it into the ground. You can kind of put it at an angle where it's about a little steeper than 45. So it doesn't have to be there, kind of a little bit higher. Because remember, this is a short club. 
So with the shorter the club, the steeper the angle, the more down we're hitting, and we're still swinging. Hands are left, club head is right of the target that you see in front of us. And therefore, you're able to get the club face to have a lot more true contact to the ball and a little bit more solid. Hopefully your chipping woos will go away and you're able to hit a lot better chips. So hopefully you can get it close. If you have any issues, you know where to find us. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you and have a nice day.